I think Skycam might be the intellectual property of somebody else. Uh -oh. <laughs> we might have a problem here. <laughs> we are with Robin Vitetta. She's got a video cassette out, which is called Barbecue Video Cookbook. In here, you get all the recipes that we've talked about tonight. And plus some, um, plus lots. Yeah, lots of stuff, plus um, new views of <laughs> Miss Vitetta. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, take it easy now. I have to keep the interest. Did we give the lady in Alabama the video cassette? Okay, we good. We have, what, three of these? Two left. Two, one down, two to go. <laughs> Here is Tim in Granite Bay, California. Hello. Hi, Tom. This is Tim. Hey, Tim, how are you? Oh, pretty good. How good. are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. What are you doing for Labor Day, pal? Well, I'm unfortunately I'm going to be working. Uh -oh. I'm getting ready for the Monday Night Football to start. And what do you do? What's your job? I work, I'm an assistant manager at a uh, video store. Oh, really? Yeah. Very good. Hmm. Do you carry the uh, Robin Vitetta video up there? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell them to, to, uh, to start. Let's you stock, do that. Let's stock this in here. Get them in there. All right. Anyway, here, here's Robin. Say hi. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Tim. Um, me and my friends, uh, we go out to a Monday night football gathering every night, and we eat uh, barbecue beef ribs every right. Monday night for 16 weeks. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a, uh, a tasty, kind of a spicy, but morely, more sweet, uh, a good healthy barbecue sauce that you may recommend. Okay, that's a good question. Yeah, probably what we started out with. What here, we started yeah. out with. I mean, if you want to start out with a, your your a basic sauce, a jarred sauce. Yeah, like your craft, your hunts, your whatever. Whatever. Yeah. And your favorite. And then if you want to add to that, you said a little bit sweet. Is that what you said? Yeah, a little so bit sweet. So brown sugar, um, ways to make it. You can add vinegars, balsamic vinegars. You can add pepper juice. You right. can add chopped up onions, chopped garlic. Anything you would like to jazz it up. You can do that with. You can start off with. Like if you're doing chicken, you can add a little cilantro, maybe. Oh yes. Huh? Yeah. Definitely. Or, or a little oregano if you want a little Italian flavor add, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, really, it's, it's the possibilities are endless with, with, endless with if you start with something. You can also start with, you said you like a tomato base, right? Right. So you can start with a tomato paste. You can start with a tomato sauce. Yeah. And thicken it up. So there's many different ways. And I would have, you know, now you have the entire football season to every Monday kind of do a little taste test. It do could we be a have, lot of fun. Do we have in my office that bottle of, uh, of uh, Johnny Harris from Savannah GA barbecue sauce? Let's bring that out here. And, you know, we've had Ooh. this stuff here for a year. We might as well try it. The guy yeah. sent it in here. What else can we do for you, Tim? Well, Tom, I, I wrote you a letter here not too long ago, and I was well, wondering if you could uh, send me an autographed picture. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a big I have a big collection at my house that I started about uh, I would say probably about six years ago. That right. includes uh, it includes uh, Burt Reynolds, uh, David Letterman, mm -hmm. Bill Cosby, mm -hmm. and I'd like to add you to my wall if I can. How about me? Oh, you too, Robin. <laughs> okay. You can send me one, too. In fact, we'll send you our two. <laughs> Which is being taken later on tonight. It's a joke. It's only a little dumb joke. I'll tell you what, Tim. I'll put you on hold. I will send you the Robin Batetta video cookbook, okay? Okay. And uh, if you give your address under separate cover, the pictures that I send out are really crappy, but I'll be very happy, I'll be very happy to send you one. Great. Thanks. All right, Tim. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Tim. All right. Here is uh, Martin in Glendale, Arizona. Hello. Hello there, Tom. Martin, how you doing? Okay. I'm doing pretty good today. Good. I got a question for Robin. Go ahead. Hi, Martin. Hi there. Um, a friend of mine just gave me some fresh Alaskan salmon. Mm. Ah. And I'm gonna and I barbecued it. And uh, how do I keep it from sticking to the aluminum foil? Also, how can I reheat this thing tomorrow? Um, you put it on aluminum foil before you put it on the grill? Yes. Why? And then I sprayed some Pam inside the uh, aluminum foil. That's one way to keep it from sticking. You can also brush the foil first with olive oil. Brush the grill with olive oil before you put it on there. Squeeze lemon juice all over it. Right. Um, if it, it's already cooked, right? So for tomorrow, you want to reheat it. Yes. I would just put it in a in a shallow baking dish, 350 degrees for um, 15, 20, 15 minutes. 20 minutes. That's yeah. it. You don't want to dry it out. Cover it. Or you I'll don't want to dry it out. I'll all tell that you work. what you might do, Martin, and try this is <clears throat> rather than heating it up, cold salmon is very, very good eating. Yeah, that's true. And take that's a little uh, Dijon mustard and mayonnaise half oh. and half, a little white wine, lemon juice, stir that all up, a little fresh pepper as a oh, sauce for the fork. Could be very, very delicious. And we're coming over. <laughs> sounds great. Uh, not to go to Arizona or not. <laughs> that sounds really good. I really appreciate that. I have one more uh, request. Go ahead. Um, can you send me the video? Yes, you're going to get the video. We, we have one more left, do we not? You, great. Martin? And there's plenty of more tips in there about um, storing fish, uh, marinating it, prepping it, and how to cook it, how to keep it from sticking. There's sure. lots of tips sure. for all kinds of meat in there. Okay. All, all right. Martin, Tom. be sure to stay on hold now, and we'll get your address and we'll Tom. ship you the video. Yes, sir. 
One more. Could you sign the video and ask Robin to sign it too? <laughs> yes. Please. Would you like us to do it uh, while we're on so you can witness it being done? Well, at your convenience. That's very good of you, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sure do appreciate yeah. that. Martin, we will autograph the video cassette, and it'll be on the way to you probably uh, Tuesday morning, okay? Bless you. Thank you very much. Bless Tom. you back, Martin. Thanks. Good night now. Good night. See, we have no dissatisfied customers. No, here. absolutely not. Uh, Beth in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hello. Uh, hi, Tom. I've been watching you since I was a young girl in Canton, Ohio, mm -hmm. and I just really have enjoyed you. Thank you. But I do have a question for Robin. Go right hi, ahead. Beth. Hi. Uh, now that I'm living in South Florida, right. our weather is so inclement and it's unpredictable. Right. And 4th of July, I planned a picnic and it rained. What do you recommend for doing an indoor barbecue, meat or fish? Well, there's a lot of different things you can do. And that's a good question because a lot of times you plan yeah, a weather party. Gets and, in the way. Uh, yeah. And especially since now the barbecue is, is becoming kind of a year round thing. A lot of people are doing it in the fall all that's the way right. through till the cold, cold months. Um, there's always the broiler, and I yeah. know it sounds it sounds like you don't want to go that way, but really, if you've got it marinated right and you've got everything prepped, marinate a little bit longer for more intense flavor. Keep things under the broiler. Um, it works fine. It works fine. It, it works really fine. does. And and pan searing. Um, there are also there's some great stove top grills that you can buy out there that are actually Absolutely. big cast iron. Or a grills. lot of the toaster ovens have got broiling arrangements in there. Right. If you're doing small amounts. So of there food. are there are ways to do it. Beth, you can figure it out. You're a smart kid. You've been watching me for 20 years. <laughs> I sure can, sir. It's a pleasure to speak with you all. All right. Thanks, Beth, thanks, and Beth. happy Labor Day. Bye bye now. Well, we sure have had a good time with you here, Robin, and I thank you for coming on. Thanks. The Robin Batetta Barbecue Video Cookbook. And by the way, after the break here, we'll put up the 800 phone number in case anybody has inquiries. Or, in fact, there it is right now. That'll be the low-fat barbecue tape at 1-800-845-3855. We will continue with Corvettes of the Southwest from Burbank after these messages.